these are the pictures that were in the ad that I found on Facebook. And we got up this morning and headed out and went to pick this up. It's in it was in Missouri. And uh these pictures show the undercarriage of the car it looks pretty solid. And these pictures here are the reason why I was willing to take the trip <clears throat> to go uh, see the car. I pretty much intended on getting it uh, no matter what. I'm going to make the drive. And these pictures were good enough and that I knew before I even went. That I was going to get it. Now there's a dent on the quarter panel on the driver's side and so I requested these videos so that I could get a clear view of, of what's going on with the car from multiple angles and you know thousands of individual pictures to get a better idea of what it looked like so the guy went and took this video and here comes the side and I was like that's a dent. That right there is a dent. That's a big dent. But then when I went and saw it in person, it really isn't that big. But boy, if I painted that with shiny paint, it would look like a huge dent. So it does need to be repaired. Halfway back with my new purchase. This is a 1980 notch. I was kind of worried about this side right here. But in person, it's really not that bad. These little creases right here make it look like it's a big dent, but it's not. And this door seems to be good. And that tire won't hold air. That door needs replaced. My winch stopped working. I had to do it by hand, so I guess I'm going to need a new one. I couldn't get this thing melted together. Couldn't get it out. But I was able to run it off with this power source I made. So I'm going to get a new wench something that maybe will come out in neutral because that thing took like 15 or 20 minutes to unwind so on my way home from Missouri
Okay, that's probably plenty of room, right? We could go another few feet, I guess, if you want. Breezy. This is the Mustang I just picked up today. Went to Missouri to get it. Three and a half hours away. It's a 1980 notch. It does look kind of nasty in spots, but it's just like basic surface rust for the most part. 
looks a lot better than a lot of the cars that I've been seeing. That's just, I don't know, bad paint job or something. Looks like somebody tried to spray paint that too. Let's strip all that out. Clean it up real nice. The fender, front fender isn't in such bad shape. The molding's been ripped off of it. I'm gonna be removing that stuff anyway. The door, this door's not in bad shape. Some of the seals are bad on the window and it's got a little bit of surface rust here and there. I'm not sure what happened here, but paint got, it's probably a chemical got dumped on it or something and it started to rust. It's got a little bit of rust going on here. I might wind up just buying a new trunk lid. This trim right here on this window seems good and the window doesn't look damaged. That window looks pretty good. Top of the car isn't perfect, but it looks pretty good. Looks like somebody might have stepped right there. The trim around this window looks good and the, and the window itself good shape a little crack in the dashboard there other than that there's a oh, there's one spot right there too more tape it must have been some kind of a trim leak or something there why people do that? That's broke. I plan on ripping all this stuff out anyway. The seats are gone. This is pretty crappy. got in here at some point. This is actually like vinyl or some kind of leather or something. The lines all kind of meet well so this door isn't really sagging. Like Hagen. A nice even line there. This fender's not so bad either. Not much rust there. I don't know what engine I do. That hood's probably gonna have to go. This door is pretty much trash. If I can be if I can beat that door out and make it look good, it'll be a miracle. The trim on this window looks pretty good. It's either locked or it don't work. These are nice and square on both sides. And I've already got a bunch of pictures. Of I'll get this thing up on blocks and take a video of the underneath of it at some point. They're all four lug. I kind of like that style of wheel. Almost like a Dukes of Hazard look. Those are the tail lights. Rear bumper don't seem like it's in that bad of shape. I'm actually 
thinking that dash might get to stay. It's nice enough to be able to stay. Just thinking about just stripping the whole interior out of it. Down to the metal and just cut the cut the back side of the doors off where the windows go if I could. Might not be all oh, that's why I see that seal was letting water in. That's it. That's that's about it. Just in some blinker parking lights. So it's uh, gonna sit here for a long time, I suppose, because I'm still gonna be working on that one till it's done. That one's gonna be next.